Hi, this is the money of Musical Money and also of Ableton Music Group, uh, Madison. And um, right now I'm gonna talk about the Axiom in Ableton. Axiom, right now I'm using the Axiom 25 keyboard, but any Axiom work, Axiom Pro too. Um, I'm gonna show you how to uh, to to kind of map out the drum rack and also to uh, tap your keyboard in Ableton. Um, I got some questions, some some uh, some guys. Um, first one from Zach. Zach was like, hey, you can't drag uh, drum sounds into the drum rack. Um, the next question was from Skater. Skater said, uh, I can't even sign drums to the pads. He's talking about, obviously he's talking about the, uh, the, the eight drum pads, eight sensitive, touch sensitive uh, drum pads, velocity sensitive I should say, uh, pads on the XM. And the next one was from some guy, I can't not remember his name, but basically he has the same controls as I do the 25 and he's having problems um he cannot have his play stop or go record button work so I'm gonna show him how to do it. um I'm gonna answer Zach's first um the reason why Zach is probably because you have to have Ableton suit or Ableton live if you have um Ableton light that came with the keyboard it won't work um Ableton just doesn't the reason why it's free is because it's very limited, and so and the abilities and the abilities that you can do with it. So they took that out. You can't make some drum racks. Um, next one is uh, you know what, I'm gonna ask the anonymous first. Uh, second, I should say, really tired. Y'all bear with me, man. I've been making the same video over and over again. So if I mess up, y'all forgive me, okay? All right. So he can't have the play button work. One thing you can do is you can go to the website, MIT website, choose your keyboard series, the X25, choose uh, your operating system, and then download Enigma. And Enigma will set it up for you to whatever whatever um DOS system, digital audio works that you use. Um like Reason, Ableton, um, Pro Loops, whatever. But um so yeah, that's the best best way to solve that. But if you like me, because I have Windows 7 64 bit, and Axiom is not written for 64 64 bit, and it's like no environment, no virtual machine environment would run it. So I have to actually go into it. First, let's set up my keyboard because a lot of people ask how you set up the keyboard. When you when you when you start Ableton, you already you must have the uh, the Axiom plugged in and on, and um. Then you start Ableton. Then you go to Options, go to Preference, and then um, you go to Control Surface. You choose your keyboard. You know, Axiom 25 Classic and Axiom are both the same to me. Um, automatically maps it out. The input output. So that's straight there. Go down here to the input. Um, it's an input. You choose Track On, Remote On, and you don't have to run about, about Sonic. Uh, I don't know what that means, man. I'm really tired, so y'all just bear with me. Alright, set that up. And then you can hit on your drum pad. You see how the light turns on? Well, that means that it's receiving MIDI data. Um, I don't know what MIDI data is, just Wikipedia. Um, Alright, so most likely my global play and record button works. Yeah, it works. Alright. But if you if yours doesn't work, what you can do is you click MIDI, you can click on the play, and then on, on the uh, on able to get your, your mouse, and then on your keyboard you hit the play button, and it, it automatically assigns that. And this is MIDI map mode, just letting you know. Then next you just stop button uh, with your mouse, and then you hit the uh, stop button on the keyboard and the controller. You do the same for the global. And uh, so I'm about to hit play. It's playing. Stop. Stop one more time. It restarts. Um, global course. Turn red. There we go. And uh, that's about it. All right. So, see, I knocked this question out. The next question, skater. Um, how can I assign drums to the pads? All right, man. So you go to live device. Um, go to media effects. No, actually, you go to instruments. And you choose drum rack and you just drag drum rack to MIDI. And drum rack will give you a default uh, template. And I'm about to hit it with my axiom. You see how that, that glows up? Alright, so that's number one. I actually, go all the way to the top. 
what it ain't even like. For me, it's all over the place. So right now, I just hit uh on the keyboard. Show up at C18, C19. C18 is the first one, at the very top at the, the far left. Hit that. It shows up as D2. There's no logic to it. So you make it a drone rack. You know, let's say I want to choose a kick. All right. Uh, it wait. Classic. Um, another D2. D2 is the the first pad. Drag it over there, drop it, and it works. Um, the next thing is then I just hit uh, the next one over, and I see that's A2, A1 actually. Sure, I'm thinking. And uh, I just want to bring a 909 kick, kick. And then I just continue doing the same thing over and over again. And um, just show a cool feature. Like let's say you want to replace them. Let's say you already made. Um, let me make some stuff. But you guys probably won't hear because I have this headphone on, so you guys can be better. I got a cold too. So I ain't helping. But um, if you can see what it's doing. All right, so I want to change that kick to a a snare, just straight off top. So what I do is I double click on the top of the drum rack. And then when I hover over the the uh, the kick, the 909, I see this little it's like circle with two arrows, and kind of reminds me of recycle sign. But anyhow, I click on that, and that's called the hot spot. And then I go and I choose um, I'll close this back up. I choose there, and then I just hit the uh, the hot spot button over there, and change to a rim fire, and you can continue changing. Um. But yeah, that's about it. Um, I'd like to give a shout out though. Um, you guys hit me on my page, please subscribe. You know, leave comments, man. Show. Sure. Also, watch my other videos, man. Like Revenge of the Nerds. Like, I did that when I was like in high school. So y'all hit me up on that. Y'all let me know what y'all feel about that. It's real short. Um, well, Weston Wright, y'all got to to do, man. Like, the dude is really talented. Man, like I, I go to him to, to ask him questions about Ableton and whatnot, and he always has an answer. Um, yeah, man, dude, really young, and like he's a beast, though. Gotta get to him, cause when I was his age, I hate music. I didn't even like music. Um, shout out to Ableton, uh, Ableton AG, and Ableton Inc., Ableton Berlin in Germany, and uh, Ableton New York in America. I guess you all know that. But um, also y'all check out T. Floyd, um, Thomas Floyd. He's the head of the Ableton Music Group Chicago, and uh, y'all also check us out, um, Ableton Music Group Madison. Um, we're new. We have uh, our first meeting coming up February. No, actually we have our first meeting up in uh, I can't believe I said February. We got out February in April. And so please let me know if you want to be involved with that. We uh we meet a lot. Um, as you can see, we have this uh, Max MSP workshop. Which is really crazy. So if y'all interested, please hit us up. We'll let you know more about it. And you can find us at Madison Able to Group. Uh, shout out to Jared Perez. He's my partner. Um, he's been helping me out. He's been, man, he's been on, on the roll. He's a DJ. So y'all check him out too, okay? Um, well, shoot, that's about it, you know? Um, so I guess I'm going to sign out. Peace.